The final thing we're going to look at here is the influence of wing sweep on yaw stability. Um, now, if the, the if you have wings that are swept uh, symmetrically on each side, then they don't actually affect trim. So we're just going to look at yaw stability here. And what we're going to learn here applies to any wings with sweep. So this could also include a sweep on a horizontal tail, for example. Uh, but we're just going to look at the main wing. Now, what I've tried to draw here is a fuselage uh, that is... Uh, there's a fuselage axis uh, reference line. That axis uh, is pointed at some angle beta relative to the free stream velocity, okay? And then we have these uh, swept wings coming off either side. And uh, so the major contributor here, now that the actual uh, measurement of how much yaw stability you're gonna get is a little bit complex here. And so we're just gonna look at this in more general terms. Um, but uh, the major contributor here is the influence of drag from the wings. So. Uh, so if we put like a, a center of drag, uh, let's say, on on uh, either of these two wings. Now remember, drag is always acting in uh, the direction of uh, of V infinity. So we have drag on, on one wing and drag on the other wing. And uh, what happens as, as we rotate and, and get some positive beta is that, uh, well, first of all, without any beta, these two terms, let me draw that in another color here. Uh, if, if beta were equal to zero, then, then this drag would be aligned with, uh, with the axis here. And, uh, and, the, and the offset from that in either direction would be equivalent. Okay, And so it wouldn't create actually any yawing moment to a, a, a difference in, um, in drag placement. If the drag was equivalent and, and, and we have symmetric sweep, then, that, uh, then those wouldn't create any yawing moment. But what happens here is that um, when we have a positive beta, the, uh, the distance of the drag, and actually what we should be looking at is the perpendicular distance to the, uh, uh, to the center of gravity. So you can see that this perpendicular distance, uh, or the distance on the right, is much greater than the distance on the left. And so that increases the moment arm of the drag on the right wing here compared to the left. And so that increase in moment arm is actually going to uh, create a positive yawing moment and, uh, and try to swing our nose back in the direction of the free stream. So positive sweep is stabilizing. Okay, so... Uh, so this is why, well, this isn't the only reason, but this is a nice benefit of positive sweep on wings. Now, uh, if we were to do the same analysis with negative sweep, meaning that, uh, that the wings would be swept forward instead of aft, we'd see the opposite effect. So actually negative sweep uh, is destabilizing. And so this is one reason why we don't see many aircraft out there with negative sweep. Uh, we usually have positive sweep on aircraft. Um, there are other benefits as well, some aeroelastic benefits to positive sweep compared to negative sweep. Uh, but, but one of these benefits is that we get uh, stabilizing effects or, or, or increase in yaw stability with positive sweep.